I'm back once again at Brand Spanking Used in Fort Collins, Colorado. While I was inspecting their vast selection of furniture, I couldn't help but notice all of the art that is in this thrift store. And it's not just in their home goods section, but it's scattered around all over the store as decoration. It made me curious. I wanted to see if we could find some interesting thrift store art to flip. And this store is a great place to start because there's such a variety of art in their selection. We have vintage posters. I actually, I checked this one out on WorthPoint and it resold in 2023 for $100. We've also got folk art. We've got reproductions of famous pieces like this Renoir reproduction. When it comes to pieces like this, it all depends on the size. It depends on the type of reproduction, whether it's a print, whether it's on canvas, and also the quality of the frame. So lots of variables to consider there. But honestly, what really caught my eye is this piece here, this ink drawing. I like the composition, I like the shadow, and I just like ink drawings in general. Also, it is signed. It has a date, it has a location, but I have no idea who this artist is. I looked up his name in the Worth Point price guide and no results. But that's precisely why I'm so curious about this piece. Because so much of the art you find at the thrift store, it's made by someone who you have no idea who the artist is. Even if you can find a signature, you might not be able to find a whole lot of information on them. So that got me thinking. Let's see what items like this have recently sold for. Let's do a search in the Worth Point price guide for previous listings that are similar to this one. I'm gonna do a search for ink drawing artist unknown. And at the very top of our results, we have these three ink drawings, Artist Unknown. They resold for $7 in 2023. Now, I know seven bucks, that's not a lot, but look at these drawings. They are pretty simple. Uh, the paper is faded. There's no frame. We have rough edges. I think a lot of people would just throw this type of thing in the trash, but here someone made at least something off these drawings, and that makes me really interested. Let's keep going through our results and see what else we find. These resold for $45 in 2023. Again, pretty simple drawings, faded paper, rough edges, maybe not in the best condition, but they do have a lot of character to them. Now here's a much higher resale price, around $184 in 2021. So it's a few years old now, not the most recent data, but I still think this is a useful comparable for us to keep in mind, and here's why. We have an ink drawing here in this listing that has a lot of detail. There's a signature, there's a date, and it looks like that date is 1966. And this is a larger drawing and it's in a pretty nice frame. And it resold for, like I said, around 184, 185. And our thrifted drawing has a lot of similar qualities. It's also an ink drawing with a lot of detail, a nice frame, large size, we have a date and a signature. And that makes me think because these items are quite similar in those ways, maybe our thrifted drawing could resell for something closer to this higher price point. Again, hard to say for sure because this is an older listing. Even so, this seems like a promising sign for us. Here's one more listing that I want to talk about. Original Surrealist Drawing Artist Unknown. This resold for $120 in 2020. Again, not the most recent sale, but I think it's interesting that so many of the artworks we've seen in this search include the word original, like this one does. Now, it sort of tickles me because usually when we talk about an original, we're talking about a specific artist. For instance, an original Monet, an original Picasso. Here we've got people describing the art as an original, even though the artist is unknown. So it's an original somebody, who knows? But I think using the term original just makes the item more appealing to potential buyers. And I bet it helped in this case to tie the work to a specific art movement. Uh, that definitely gives this anonymous piece of art uh, a sense of legitimacy, even though it's not clear who exactly the artist is or when it was made. So if you're reselling original artwork online, make sure to point it out in your listing by adding the term original. Based on the results we've seen today, I'd buy this piece of art. It's only $12.99 uh, because it's in nice condition, it's large, it has a good quality frame, it has a signature and a date and a location. I think it's possible that you could resell it for over $100 if you wanted to, uh, if you can find the right buyer. Again, it's just, it's so tough to say with art. 
Also though, I really like this piece. This is the kind of thing I'd be happy to list in my online store and then just keep it on the wall in my own living room. If someone buys it, I can make a hundred bucks. And until then, it's something nice for me to enjoy. And that's the really important thing with thrifted art that you're gonna be keeping in your home. Make sure you like it. Thank you so much for watching this art-inspired episode of This Week in Thrifting. If you enjoyed the episode, if you found it useful, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the Worth Point YouTube channel so you never miss a shopping trip. Until next time, keep thrifting.